And we are back. My name is Red Joy, and this is our next adventure, our hardcore, uh, insane difficulty adventure. And today we're going to start with a cleric. I had thought originally of doing a cleric, a priest of Lothander, right? I was kind of balancing between the two. Um, uh, because clerics will get, first off, clerics get all that that you see. Uh, if you are interested in learning more about clerics, you should definitely check out my cleric starter guide. Um, the various kits go towards the various abilities. Uh, priests of Lothander do get uh, nice benefits to face against, well, they get hold undead, which is, it's, it's a spell I think that could be useful early on, but I don't think it's super useful. Um, and they also get the Boon of Lothander, which gives them a pretty decent attack bonus. But, I actually changed my mind. And I go with a normal Cleric. And I'll tell you why, is that I don't know how well the Clerics can, um, dual class. Because what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we are going to boost up Intelligence as well. And at level, well, I'm trying to debate between whether it's going to be level 9, level 13, level 14, um, we're going to duel to mage. Which means I have to get a ton of experience points. Um, I'm going to go for, for, actually we're going to go with maces, not flails, uh, and slings. Kind of indecisive there, but yeah, definitely maces, because you can get um, a magic mace very early in the game. And for spells, for divine spells, um, command is very good, and sanctuary is, is is very good. I don't know how often I'll use the sanctuary, but I definitely will be using command. Command is like a basically a one turn uh, go to sleep spell, so it's kind of kind of a nice spell to have. Of course, I decide on what voice I'm going to use. I think the Icewind Dale voices are pretty good here. There we go. And her name will be Naomi. With that, we'll go ahead and get started with our adventure. And of course, we'll go on insane difficulty. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. And there we go. So, we start with the quarterstaff, and because our character only has 13 strength, we are kind of we're not gonna be very good at melee <laughs> that's just something we're gonna have to settle with um but you know that's the reason why we have slings and of course we're going to get our 300 gold 
Hard to find decent folk nowadays. That's why we're smashing open these uh, chests, at least the ones that we can actually open. Um, so yeah, we are gonna speed through the early part. Um, when I've done these in the past, uh, these playthroughs in the past, um, I try to get into the business of skipping through a lot of the inventory scenes, a lot of the kind of logistical scenes, not because I don't think they're important, they are, but they're kind of boring to watch, right? Me fiddling around with this piece of inventory, this piece of inventory, this piece of inventory. And then we got this guy. He is a guy with maybe like four HP and a knife. I'm pretty sure I could beat him. In fact, I've only seen one character really lose to him, and that was uh, not one of my characters. It was a playthrough that I watched, and uh, I think it was on Throw a Ball mode. I think it was, uh, or um, Legacy of Ball. Now, this is a very interesting. I want to try out Man Word Die, Fall Asleep. And out you go. But I broke a weapon. Ah, this is why you pick up a magic weapon as soon as you can. So you don't have to deal with this shenanigan. Something on your mind? Okay, so we'll go ahead. Another major issue I run into with Naomi is, um... She has limited carry weight. She can only carry 90 pounds. Which, uh, is not great. <laughs> it means we gotta get containers, and we gotta get to containers relatively quickly. I don't know if it's in today's oh video God. or tomorrow's video that we get um, the containers that we need. Oh, These walls contain the of knowledge. I was just saying earlier. Usually, what I do is I try to um, clip through the boring hey, yeah. scenes it's me, or the Emily. boring kind of minutia. But I do want to show you that I'm doing this hardcore. I'm not doing saves. I'm not doing reloads. I'm doing this kind of straight through. But, you know, aside from watching me fiddle around with putting the potion into this slot and putting the potion into this slot, it can be kind of boring. And I, oh, I, I want to respect child, that. child, I am glad I have found you. Listen no. carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. But I always recommend Friendly doing child. all of the quests the can only from worse, so we must uh, Candlekeep. Get the early 345 XP. As as it's time. a good start to the game, especially if you're a thief and you get more from Wait, looting chests wrong. and unlocking things. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You are perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. I must insist on this thing. Dawn is especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. I will do so. So, yeah, um, I also, in this run, I'm going to have Emma Wen hang back. Um, I will pick her up later on. Uh, or I might pick up another thief. But I want to at least have her as an option 
so I can pick her up at a, you know, when I need a thief that's that can do utility based things. Um, I will also pick up these two later on, definitely, to, uh, or the next video I do. I don't want to promise tomorrow, but next uh, video oh, I do. Oh, wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Chat with the Red Wizard. I joke. I know it's Elminster, okay? He's not a Red Wizard of Day. Um, actually, he's the favorite of Mistra. <laughs> Alright, go down to Baragos. We can get some easy XP here. Good day, buddy. Fine day to you, sire. Get up to level two. Such a fine day to me, wouldn't you say? Those of you who don't know, if you um, if you play through uh, solo and you get a ton of levels and a ton of experience, yeah, you'll no, pick up party members out. with that like same level of experience. <laughs> so you the key tomorrow. thing to do very early on in the game is you to go for non-combat quests to um, keep your face pretty, especially if you're playing on either insane difficulty or legacy of ball mode. Uh, or insane difficulty with double damage, which I don't do yet because um, I'm a pansy. <laughs> I'm not that extreme. But I suppose, like, you could still use this strategy, right? The point is to make sure that you're not um, you're not charging in. Um, you're not going to get yourself into trouble. So we decided to ditch our mace. Might not be a wise decision, but it is a decision. Let's go it's to Firebead. Decent folk nowadays. It's a hard to find. And of course, we're gonna get the 300 more gold. Okay. Get a level up. And this time, actually, I'm gonna talk to TX, right? I'm not gonna carry him very long. But TX, by the way, TX is awesome. He's fantastic. He works as a utility thief and as a utility, um, just a utility goon to have around with you. Uh, he can summon a ghast. So I, I really do like him. Every time I've taken him, I have not been, um, I have not been disappointed. But the key thing, we're gonna remove him. The big thing is we're gonna need to pick up the magic mace. And the magic mace we got is the stupefier, which has a 10% chance of uh, stunning a target for one round if they fail a save versus spell. Uh, go down south, open up the areas, avoid as much combat as possible, but we're going to fight a gibberling and I will show you the amazing skill. Well, the amazing skill that Naomi has with the sling. She gets plus three with the sling. She's so good with this. All right, you know what? I'm daring. Giverling's near death. I can swing. With a plus one. That's right, a plus one. Not gonna mean much when I'm rolling ones through fives, but you know what? We eventually land our death blow. By the way, no level of difficulty adjusts that hit. I, I I don't think it does. Maybe, okay, sorry, let me correct that. Easier modes, particularly um, core difficulty and, um, and story mode will make it so it's like really, really, really easy to hit. Um, um, anything higher than that, I believe I it's so. just base level. But regardless, let's continue on. We can pick up the amulet. I think we run into a bad guy here. Yep. And the cobalt. Let's hit him with the... I was about to hit, say hit him with the stick, but that's not what we're doing. Oh, he stabbed me. That's okay. Uh-oh. She's fatigued. She could have tetanus. It's going to be the end of the run, guys. We're doomed. She's got the lockjaw. I'm sure I'm gonna get a comment below saying, Don't make fun of people with lockjaw, that's not funny. Fun fact, at no time today do I actually stun an opponent. <laughs> Mostly because if I hit something, it will probably go down because it's all, we're all dealing with, like, 
one HD enemies. So like, Hobgoblins only have nine HP. So when I hit it, eventually he dies. But... So we go down. Alright, so, here's the reason why you do not need to worry about Charisma, right? Is, is that both Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2, you can pick up a ring that will immediately bring your Charisma up to 18. Uh, and then you can add other items on top of that. Uh, one of the other things we'll pick up is the Nymph's Cloak, or the Nymph's Cloak? It's the, the special Algernon's Cloak, that's it. Um, don't ask me how I get it, I'll reveal that later on. Um, but yes, Algernon's Cloak, you get Algernon's Cloak and you basically get to um, raise it up to 20. You're a long tongue loud, ain't you? So we hand over Colquitt's family's amulet. We will rest, get that spell, get those spells back. And of course we get the ring that lets us boost our charisma up to 18. Indeed. We start hanging out with the cool kids. That's the reason why. All right. I will do so. Now, this is not what I recommend doing on Legacy of Ball mode because uh, enemies are going to have a ton of HP. But what I will do is um, you could do this on... Me, uh, other normal modes, you just need to have a distance weapon. And that is to take out Soldanirid. It's going to take a while for her because uh, I'm not hitting very hard. But the big thing is you do not want to have her talk to you. If you have her talk to you, then uh, it will bring down your Please HP to me, 1. I'm alone on this desolate Whether you are a guy or a girl. There we go. Use it to get away. Also keep away from the wolf that's hanging out right there. Go north. I feel like in Greek mythology, Myrids were like incredibly powerful. Right? Like they're basically like cousins of the Greek deities. It's like the Titans, Greek gods, Nereids. I need to actually finish that book. There's a great um, book by Stephen Fry about Greek mythology, and he has, um, well, it's actually a series, and one of them was on um, the, one of them was on, the first one was about like the, the Greek mythology, the Greek cosmos, and the gods, and the second one is about like the heroes, I think. And there you go, you get 5,000 experience. You can keep exploring this area if you really want your character to die, uh, only because there are tons of ogres around. Uh, it's very, very risky. We also put our point into flails, which is good. Uh oh. Alright, now, against skeletons. Melee. First off, he's gonna run away because he's a pansy, but... Um, in melee, first off, a mace is gonna be really good against skeletons. That didn't stun him because he doesn't care. Um, so he's gonna, uh, uh, Naomi's gonna do extra damage because she's using a blunt weapon, which is really, really, really good, or crushing weapon, is what they call it. But, um, anything else, there's will only do one damage against skeletons. So, basic stuff, but definitely stuff worth uh, worth knowing. We are going to do the Metal Camp quest. We're going to see if we can get 2,000 free XP from a very, very, very simple, non relatively non-violent quest. There's Naomi getting a critical miss is not good. Her rolling a 3 is not good either. Her rolling a 7 is not great either. The skeleton getting a critical hit. You guessed it, it's not good either. Uh, 
the nice thing is, is that we do have like a decent amount of HP. So we don't really have to worry so much. Go to sleep. The great thing about Command Word Die is that any enemy that is level 6 or below, um, they don't get a save. They just go down for one round. Super useful. Come on. actually have a pretty decent amount of hit points for being, I guess, kind of something that's a quote-unquote level 1 creature. I think they have 2 HD. If not, then they are just incredibly beefy. Because wolves I've encountered have something like 19 HP or something like that. I could be wrong on that, but I've, I've seen 19 damage done to a wolf and it's still standing. So... By the way, part of Metal Camp's quest is you need a skull from a skeleton. The skeletons are all right around High Hedge, so go ahead and grab one. I know that a lot of this is kind of old hat for folks who have watched my videos before, but I figured there might be some new faces here watching. Um, and it has been the first time I did a, an arcane... Or sorry, a divine By caster. By a mighty mage of Baragost. Why but, do I live in such a pissant town? Okay, we talked to Thalantir. And no need to be rude. I do sympathize. And we let the chicken hang out. And the chicken, of course, talks to his master. We're willing to help. All right, now, this is a 50-50 chance. Why do Basically, 50% of the time... Melcamp becomes a real boy, 50% of the time, he becomes rotisserie chicken. Actually, he doesn't even become rotisserie chicken, he just dies. Why do I live in His such heart a was just town? a little too small for a big boy. Anyway, I make light of the dead, because otherwise I'd be crying. Nobody wants to see me cry. Ooh, lucky shot! Literally a lucky shot. It's also a lucky shot. But only one damage, so. That's why it's always good to have a helmet. That's why eventually I'm going to download um, Rogue Rebalancing. I haven't downloaded it for this run, but I will. I actually was able to find it. I haven't downloaded it yet because I'm simultaneously doing my Ilthus run. I want to finish that, and I want to finish this before um, um, before doing that. All right. Indeed. So, by the way, if it, in the early part of the game, if you end up getting uh, ambushed, there's no shame in running away, especially if you're soloing. Yeah, pick up that magic ring. Always good for giving to like Edwin or Dinah Hare or whoever decides to pick up. Ow. So I have decent, decent melee armor, but I also really suck at swinging my mace. Be great if I just like swung my sling a little bit faster and didn't roll a two. <laughs> Sorry guys, the early like you know I I s talked a lot in the beginning of the video about how I speed up through the inventory scenes and then I do combat like this where I kite and I like miss a lot. This at least is a little more exciting than me figuring out where the heck in my inventory I'm gonna put the 15th potion of speed I have, right? Hopefully it's a little more exciting. Anyway, the big point is that we want to get um, the Flame Dance Ring from 
this gentleman wearing the gold or snot green tunic. Is that snot green? It's more like a brown or a tan. Yeah, we'll call it tan. There we go. There's one down. There we go. Alright, now we only have two to deal with. I think this is kind of an annoying thing too, is, is it speeds up the music, or it picks up the music, and then when I back off a little bit, it turns down the music. It's like, keep the music going just a little bit. Oh, and those of you who haven't watched my videos, um, there are times where I have to do weird distortions with the um, with the music, particularly when I go to taverns. For some reason, YouTube um, marks that as copyrighted. I don't know why. You know what else I don't know why? I don't know why I didn't do the clicky to go north for the um, to the farmhouse, because that's um, exactly where I needed to go next. I would yes. Say. I am a priestess, so... Yes? Alright. It's a big thing is deal with these guys. These guys are evil. You do not need to feel guilty. Big one is to get those three. The gold, always nice. You can take out these two guys, too. I'm gonna give like 40, a combined 40 experience, but you know what? That's 40 experience that you didn't have earlier. Come on, Jebediah. It's time to make peace with your god. Oh. Alright. Nice thing about having high uh, intelligence and high wisdom is that you do have a better chance of getting a Stop! decent lore depending on you what class you are. On but you land. turn the bowl to Tenya. And I do something a little bit risky. I want to open up. Well, first off, I'm going to check inside this house and see if I can do anything. Spoiler alert, I can't because I'm not strong enough. But. Um, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to open up the north. Uh, to be able to eventually go to the zombie infested location, which gives a nice amount of XP. I'm not going to do it yet, and I'm going to run into this Ankeg, and it wrecks my health. Move right past those kobolds. Oh darn, I missed 21 experience. No, it's not 21 experience. It's more like, wait, kobolds 7 experience or 35 experience? I lose track and it doesn't really matter. Alright. So at this point, we're gonna go south. I'm gonna deal with these Ogrelins. Since at this stage, I should get some um, spells under my belt, I can actually try using them. Maybe I could try using Doom. So the Ogrelins are hitting at a minus one. So, not bad, but not great either. Now what I should do, yes, okay, good. Hit them. Basically when they're down, you get a free hit on them. Then we got this kid. So fun facts, they don't they don't seem to be affected by um whole person. So Watson. Do I wanna do that? Or use sanctuary. There we go. Alright. Let's beef myself up. Now we'll go and uh go play. What I should have done is to use my sling. I think
think I'm I'm like just aiming or just trying to get that um um that one time where I actually stun an opponent. It's like Gretchen and Fetch. It's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. But I am happy that I cast uh, Draw Upon Holy Might. It's not the smartest spell at this uh, stage of the game. I mean, I'm only giving myself basically a plus one to my physical stats, but... You know what? Sorry, plus one to my physical scores. I serve the flaming fist. Flaming fist, easy to talk past. You got the wrong guys. For bandits, why would be walking out in the open? All right, now a couple of small quests we can do around here. Um, First things first, open up these areas here. Um, the big thing we're going to go to the Revenant or handle the Revenant's dagger. But first, we're going to talk to this talk. Oh my God. Talk to this gentleman here. And told, take the dagger back. Cool part is we can identify it right away. Must now, if I want to die, I'll fight this thing. I don't want to die. So I'm going to give him back his dagger. You only get 900 experience points for it. But you also don't die, which is kind of important for a hardcore run. Okay. We'll go south. I serve the flaming fist. You do not need to talk to the flaming fist guy. But, um, I oftentimes like to, so I can know kind of what to expect around. But, there's a hidden cache. There's a hidden cache. It's got a star sapphire gem, it's got a fire resist ring, and an additional gem. But the real gem gadgets I have. Yes, is talking I do. to the kindest gnome, the least annoying gnome in all of the Forgotten Realms, Hafiz. Who gives you a protection from a magic scroll. This is Lena. Now, I realize because of my um, terrible strength, I'm going to be impacted. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to carry uh, Samuel. So whatever I can do to lighten my load. Um, How are you? We're going to take this quest to see what we can do. Take us to this friend of yours. Okay, this is Samuel. Samuel is the guy that the um, Flaming Fist dude is looking for. He's a deserter from the Flaming Fist. He is too heavy for us to carry. So what are we going to do? We can't even move. we got to figure out what on earth we're going to do. Maybe I could take off the helmet? Hmm. Or maybe we could put him into the interdimensional container that is our bag of holding. With that, we'll go back north. Flamey fit. Uh, sorry, ignore the hobgoblins. You are welcome here in Garl Glitter Gold. Here's Samuel, and there we go. It's 500 experience points. That will identify a ton of stuff. We'll also pick up some um, stone to flesh scrolls. And we're gonna return Marianne's scroll, or the scroll to be delivered to Marianne. You know, just a couple days later. Salutations. Got a little wet from the rain. All right. So at this point, I do something that's kind of stupid. I decided to pick up, uh, piss off these spiders. And I got very lucky by being able to get out of there. This is a long fight because this is a lot of kiting. The nice part is, the spiders are, um, 270 XP a pop, so I just need to kill two of them, and then I'll get up to the next level, so I'm happy about that. You know, for as much as I'm speeding this up, 
This actually is not, like, hard to achieve, and you're not, it doesn't take you a huge long time to, um, to get to this point in the game. One more good hit. There we go. All right, level two and level three spells. Level three spells are chef's kiss. Going to be very important for later on. Go to sleep. There you go. All right. So be it. Now we'll pick up the rest of the items in here. I, will do so. I think we got time for one more stupid fight for me to pick a fight with. But first, we're gonna turn off the music so we don't have to worry about any copyright issues anytime we go into the uh, various inns that we're gonna go into. Uh, silence. And then there's a ton of level three spells, but right now, just as many animate deads as possible and the nice part about having a cleric who has um 18 wisdom is that she is going to get a ton of ton of spells just a ton of spells it's really great so well as promised let's see if we can do one more stupid fight i thought about using silence uh 15 feet like before the fight, but then he wouldn't be able to talk to us. And if he's not able to talk to us, then we can't start the fight. Which, on one hand, not terrible, but on the other hand, not something we really want to do. Why, sir, that is my name. I should have a rule. Uh, he saved versus spell. Save versus spell 16. It's impressive. I go to sleep. I shall see you to your grave. Nice thing is that that interrupted his uh, that spell they just cast, but he has his spells ready to go. I'd uh, rather we just skip the small talk. Of course, we're blind, so we're like trying to find our way around. Oh, you stupid guards. Don't you steal his kill from me. There we go. Let's do a whole person. There we go. Oh, wait a second. Oh! Mm. I have a feeling that's going to happen a lot. Lost experience points. All right, we got a gem bag. A pleasure it is to meet you. A stout I told you that you just needed to get tons of containers. A stout hammer will fix most any bandit. And we turn those in. Bada bing, bada boom. Indeed. Well, now that we're almost filled up with our inventory, so be it. and uh, now that we have made it to level so. five. I think now's a good time to wrap it up for the day. So be it. Um, I don't know when exactly so it's gonna be the next um, posting that I'm gonna do. Uh, I am, we are in dog training mode, puppy training mode rather. So uh, I want to be respectful to the puppy, our newest member of our family. But um, yeah, if you like what I do, leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel, check out my other content. If this is your first video watching with us. Check out what we do. So, thank you so much for I watching. So. Take care and good luck. We're all counting on you.